Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be discussing about Google Cloud Overview and Services. So let's get into the video. In Google Cloud Platform, uh, we have organization. Uh, organization is the highest node in the resource hierarchy. Organization can have uh, uh, multiple roles. Uh, these roles are the one where to to administration the entire organization and the other one is to create the projects projects is where where we create resources organization admin has control over all cloud resources project creator has command over and who can create a new project in the organization so these rules we as a users in a gcp with a quick lab account uh, we'll not be managing this because uh, because uh, either you use your uh, free account uh, gmail account or this we won't, we won't be managers but and the other one is your folder structure folder is where you can uh, uh, organize uh, your resources better or uh, group your resources better so you can apply policies policies at the hierarchy so projects is where we create resource every project comes with three attributes the project name the project id the project number uh, resources we create inside the project are these any gcp resources compute storage networking big data cloud ai management tools etc will be part of the projects okay so uh, we can categorize the resource into compute storage networking big data and machine learning and few of the examples uh, where over uh, over this course we are going to cover these services uh, in detail okay not all services but most of the services related to certification and then uh, we are going to talk about compute service the one we started was compute engine the rest we can see it's a cloud function app engine and a kubernetes engine cloud function uh, compute engine is what infrastructure as a service uh, where we can go and create virtual machines okay abstract underlying hardware provides control uh, surface for infrastructure component uh, where we talk about virtual cpu ram disk operating system network interface cards and other things when it comes to kubernetes engine it's a managed service where we can go and create a kubernetes cluster uh, which help us to manage containers the containers used here in gcp will be docker based containers then we have platform as a service where we lose the governance where most of the things uh, will be taken care by uh, gcp uh, where you can run any application choosing a runtime cloud function uh, cloud function is uh, event based event based means if you, if certain there's an action like you upload a uh, you upload a uh, image to the bucket you upload an image to the bucket and uh, you upload an image to the bucket and uh, an event is triggered based on the event you can go and perform certain actions like most of the social networking site nowadays use uh, image recognition whenever a new photo is uploaded just to check uh, does it have any uh, PII data okay so uh, that's the action here is uploading an image and the image if has any PII data it will try to uh, redact it or block it or if you are uploading any uh, violent or adult content uh, you can use uh, natural language API to check uh, whenever a new image has been uploaded that's the event and when the event triggers, you can call an natural language this thing, your vision API to check whether it has any adult or violent content so, so that it can uh, delete those objects immediately. Okay, so those uh, action based on event can be taken by cloud functions. GCP offers a variety of storage and database service which differ in the storage duration, pricing and amount of data to be handled. Okay, so easily, uh, basically, we can uh, uh, categorize into object storage like images, videos, blogs, documents, etc. Uh, blob data can be stored in a cloud storage bucket. Okay, we have relational database where we have Cloud SQL and a Cloud Spanner. Cloud Spanner is Google's own product, okay, uh, uh, which is actually a kind of an uh, hybrid uh, transactional analytical processing (STAP). Uh, which is also a relational database relational database with horizontal scaling right so google uh, sql gives you flavor like mysql postgres sql and uh, your microsoft sql but uh, 
this other services what we have we are going to go in detail about these services the nosql database we have firestore not firestone here firestore this just a second so for this is a firestore which is actually an improved version of a data store okay so then we have a cloud big table so these are the services which are used for as a nosql database so where we use a nosql database uh, let's take an example wherever you don't have a proper schema structure okay you have an uh, comment session in a twitter you want to store that comments in a document you can use a firestore to store it okay or you have iot data iot data can be stored more in firestore than in your relational database okay so you want to do an uh, uh, no flat file analytics you can make use of in uh, your uh, uh, big table which is an rookie database and it, wherever you need high read and high write operation on the flat data you can use a cloud big table then bigquery acts as a data warehouse which can be used to run a analytical job on a petabyte scale of data on a petabyte scale of data okay so networking is one beautiful concept okay you will play around networking so what so basically uh, what i want to say you guys uh, the basic first three four slide three four uh, topics will be fundamentals fundamentals we are going to try to build our fundamentals stronger and in this case what happens uh, relating it to and real time example will be little bit uh, tougher uh, because unless we know fundamentals basic concepts uh, it will be hard to uh, you know relate it to real time if i start relating every topic to real time examples Uh, you may actually lose the flavor of fundamentals so avoid it but when it comes to actually workloads we can talk about more real time examples right so your networking and all uh, is how do you configure and manage your networking using vpc load balancer cdns interconnect and dns uh, we are going to cover in depth about these things so we know how to create an account i have given step by step procedure okay uh, and uh, you have to use your credit cards to use and this so we saw how to interact with gcp we use three ways one is console one is cloud shell and sdk one is client libraries uh, using apis all the three ways we saw how to interact with the gcp the other one way is that uh, what we will not going to use in the demos nor a real time uh, use case uh, we don't use uh, cloud api as much to manage any cloud but still you have options to use an app which can help you to manage your cloud resources right as especially gcp resources uh, console we saw uh, architecture framework the various best practice and implementation recommendation together constitute google cloud architecture framework framework has been designed by people who are expert in google cloud and the various google cloud services this include custom uh, engineer solution architect cloud reliability engineer and the architecture framework ensures that smooth and efficient functionality of google cloud we have it so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you want to have a deeper dive then we have something really special for you we have our free class on google professional cloud architect certification and demo so all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash gcp pro02 you'll be seeing this kind of interface you just have to click on book your free seat now select an event date enter your name your email address your phone number and click on proceed ahead and after that you'll be seeing this kind of interface you just have to save this link on the extreme right and add it to your calendars and i will see you in the free class till then keep learning